interested in protecting violent criminals than they are protecting vulnerable communities. The issues are different and voters will have to figure out which ones are important to them. I think it's a good chance for us to define who we are in the state of Georgia moving forward. Now is our time, and I think that more people are going to be willing to vote than, uh, than, than in times past. Republicans baby supplies, so clearing things up there as we speak. Now, the CDC has activated its Monkeypox Emergency Operations Center. Agency officials say about 300 members will work at the center to respond to the disease, which has spread from skin-to-skin -skin contact and open lesions. As Fox 5's Brogzana reports, the United States already has confirmed more than 300 cases of monkeypox about former President Trump and his behavior the day of the riot. She claims the president demanded to be driven to the Capitol after his speech on the ellipse, but that Secret Service agent Bobby Ingle told him no. Hutchinson says she was also told Trump tried to grab the steering wheel of his SUV. Mr. Ingle grabbed his arm, said, sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. We're going back to the West Wing. We're not going to the Capitol. Sources tell Fox News the two Secret Service agents involved are disputing her account and are willing to testify about what they say actually happened. High-profile Republicans have criticized the committee's work, calling it one-sided, and are also downplaying Tuesday's testimony. The U.S. Senate candidate wins the Democratic primary in South Carolina despite a controversy triggered by a leaked phone call on sleeper cells, drug money, and more. We got the recording. An FCC commissioner calling on Apple and Google to ban the TikTok app over concerns China is accessing Americans' data. We talked with the commissioner himself. Novak Djokovic advanced to the third round at Wimbledon with a straight sets win. But after only three days, he's one of just four top ten players remaining. We'll see what happens to his fellow competitors. And then that huge fireball explosion, that blast left at least 18 people dead and several others injured. Now, this is just one of the increasing attacks of Russia in 2019 that this practice has been and is still happening in China on a significant scale. But China also on the United Nations Human Rights Council, it's a sick joke. This is truly extraordinary that we have allowed these things to occur. On Thursday, the summit will feature sessions specifically focused on China's forced organ harvesting and its persecution of the Falun Gong spiritual group. Survivors and families of the persecuted will be sharing their stories. Iris Tao, NTD News. About, uh, obviously, Biden has not cared about the border problem uh, since way before he was in office. Uh, he was vice president while the border uh, was open to uh, all of Latin America and other countries as well. We know that uh, people from 100 and different, 150 different countries have entered through the southern border, many of them from uh, Middle Eastern countries who are enemies. Uh, that's all been documented, and at least uh, 50,000 uh, terrorist me members of terrorist groups uh, from the Middle East have uh, infiltrated America uh, from uh, the, during the past 20 years. Another thing that President Biden just said recently regarding this, uh, this tragedy that took place down there, he said that uh, political grandstanding around a tragedy like this is shameful. Uh, what is your reaction to those comments? Well, I don't know who he's talking about necessarily, but he's right. I don't want to political grandstand about any of this. I want the problem solved. Race theory is dividing the military, and he's concerned because it's being taught to future military officers at West Point Academy. The fact is, I didn't care what his skin color was in the other context, where he went to school, who his mommy and daddy was, or who he was married to. I cared about performance, the morality of his character. If he told me I had a missile coming at me at 5 o'clock, break left, that's what I did. And so those are the important parts in the military. Judicial Watch.